Hi, I'm the Wandering Newbie. Time for the time for the record keeper. Uh, sometimes I just fall over that intro. It's time for more record keeper, and today we have another one of our elemental dungeons. This one being water, with a very unfortunate title. Uh, only one of these fights I found to actually be kind of weird, and then actually when I noticed the gimmick of it, it wasn't that bad. But also, that good theme. I goof real bad here. What if we just didn't have haste? It's fine. See? All according to plan. Yo, what is the hit chance on that sleep? For real. See, the nice thing is that he does the sleep. But then immediately the following turn does an AoE physical. Also, hello, Fur Tracker. Maybe this time I will keep mirror images up. Sleep trance is 153%. Well, that explains a lot. The accessories lower it a lot, but not nearly enough for a percentage that high. Why do you do this? That's a single target attack. You've had an ocean of targets and you chose the one that I care about. Why do you hate me? Love to try and use ninjas against bosses that use physical. It's my favorite, actually. Does that ending give you? Yeah. Okay. It gives you a uh, a stack and damage. Mayhaps. They have.
Well, he's rude now. Now he's angry. Uh, Rusted Sword lowers his physical attack, but gives him a big magic boost, and I think it's an attack down mag up, so there's no actual way to counter it. You just have to live with that, that boost. It's also very possible that at this point my, uh, my wall has worn off, so let's make sure that's re-upped. And we're done. I made some bonus tickets off of that. Lean back in my chair for a second there, and it felt real good. So this was the gimmick that I thought was more than it was. So, the main gimmick slash thing in this fight is, of course, these are bombs, and they behave bomb-like. And you should respect them, much like bombs. Except the thing is, they only explode if you hit one of them with black magic attacks, or hit the other one with physical attacks. So if you're using summons, they never explode. Also. They never explode on time. Literally, the rest of the team is just trying to build up meter so that I can use soul breaks to increase my damage. They do one status effect, but it's unblockable by accessories, mainly because we have nothing that stops Berserk. Uh, but an Astra, as you can see here, uh, does the job just perfectly. So, bring an Astra and laugh, as they can't touch it.
the damage for this fight, though it is an apocalypse level on paper, is shamefully low. Like, confusingly so. Yeah, you also just don't actually need to kill the ads. My summon, uh, like, I'm using the summons right now because I'm trying to build meter. Also, Rydia gets a small boost to summon damage. Like, there you go. We're seeing the most damage that they've done, and one... Well, we actually don't have a Medica Command, but a Medica Command could have countered that. By the way, the annoying other thing that this boss does with the Protect and Reflect, literally something that he only does the turn after summoning bombs. So hey, if you never kill the bombs and they're not summoned, then that's not a problem. Oh, I never casted Shell. This has been damaged without Shell. The damage in this fight is bizarrely low. This fight is weak for a 220. Well, funny thing, this is a 260. Like, the one thing I think I'll say is that mm, the boss is a little tanky, but then again, I've never been very good at doing magic damage. Magic DPS. If I don't in element, I find it hard to cap damage when I'm doing my dumb gimmicks. We'll get there eventually. Every caster deals 1500 damage a turn. They attack four times. Deuce casts one Medica and undoes all the damage. Oh boy. 
Look at that damage happening to uh, the X Death up there. We're not gonna be able to fix that immediately with a Medica. Oh wait, don't worry, we double cast. This fight just feels like they forgot to put in the part of the script that is the bombs explode. If that was in there, the fight would go way faster, or be way different. Sometimes you have to make your own enjoyment. <laughs> so I've been informed that this boss entirely pierces walls here. As I said. Sometimes you, uh... You make a setup and you live with it. So here's a level that's supposed to be on par with Magicite or Clo and this is insane damage. Numbers are here. Numbers live here. By the way, her moves are hit the back row and then hit the front row twice. That's why I'm running an entirely back row party. These are numbers I should not be getting with Raging Water. No! My mirror images!
So this boss does something, I think. It's like... It, it hits front row a lot, and I think that's its big thing. I couldn't tell you. This is far and away the easiest one of these that we've had. When I think about the last two. That were like... Kind of wild. I think that's an attack defense down. But like, let's see how much damage Titus still does here. Yeah, it's alright. She's trying. Be nice. She's doing her best. 